Hey guys, Winston at Carbide3D here. Copper is a material with plenty of uses in things like electrical applications, architecture, jewelry, uh, making rail guns. It's not a material I've come across very often though, so let's see how we can approach machining it. As discussed in our previous Material Monday video about cutting thin sheets of copper and brass, the chemistry and temper of your stock is important. Soft metals are bad. C145 tellurium copper in an HO4 temper is a favorable alloy to use, so let's get some of that instead. Looking purely at the numbers, C145 copper is about 10% stronger than aluminum and three times as dense. We are definitely going to have to choose cutting parameters that are more conservative than our typical aluminum feeds and speeds. For these tests, we're looking specifically at our 102Z coated 8th inch end mill. I'm going to switch up my usual toolpath order and start with 2D contours. Copper is tough, so I'm going full speed on the spindle at 10,000 RPM, a feed rate of 12 inches per minute, and a shallow depth of cut of 7 thou. And even then, it'll still be a little on the loud side. You can choose to go shallower and faster, but I would not go deeper and slower because that will cause more friction and heat as you decrease chip load. For this example, I'm leaving a couple thou of radial stock to leave so I can clean up the walls later. I've also faced the top so you can see what kind of surface finishes are possible with this end mill. Keeping your cuts chip-free will really help, so be on standby with either a vacuum or compressed air. Next, let's look at pocketing. 10,000 RPM, 9 thou depth of cut, 20 inch per minute feed rates with a 50% step over. 99% of the time, this toolpath is going to hum along beautifully. However, because pocketing operations are dumb toolpaths that don't control spindle load, there will be some times where the toolpath pushes through the material like a full width of cut contour, and when it does, it's going to sound pretty bad. You could back off on your feeds and speeds to the lowest common denominator and use settings for contouring, but then you're sacrificing a lot of speed. Your alternatives are to A. Grit your teeth and deal with a couple seconds of terror with each step down, B. Manually drop your feed rate by 50% during full engagement cuts which will necessitate your undivided attention, or C. Use an adaptive toolpath. For said adaptive toolpath, I'd start at 10,000 RPM, a feed rate of 30 inches per minute, a 25 thou depth of cut, and a 13 thou optimal load. Now this, this is much less stressful to watch. Hopefully these feeds and speeds will give you a good starting point for any projects you might have in copper. Keep in mind that if you choose other alloys or conditions of copper to machine, your optimal feeds and speeds will probably be a little different but you'll likely be able to just scale one or more of the parameters given here, like step down, in order to get a usable cut. Thanks for watching folks, good luck, and have fun machining.